Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. I'm going to start with some chopped red onion. We're going to slice up some bell pepper. We're going to chop this up as well. We're also going to need some tomato. I'm going to use two romas and we're going to cut these up into bite sized pieces. I'm also going to be using some scallions, some fresh parsley, and we want to chop this up real fine. Also a few fresh basil leaves. Again we'll chop this up nice and fine. And we're going to need a couple of cloves of garlic and chop this up till it's practically minced. I'm going to add some sliced olives and definitely some fresh olive oil and then some oregano, some Italian seasoning, some fresh kosher salt, and some black pepper. Then I like to come back and squeeze a fresh lemon right over the top to help these flavors pop. Then just give it a good stir and let it marinate for about five minutes. Now here I cook some Italian sausage. I'm going to go with four of these and just chop these up into bite-sized pieces. Now we'll throw down some flour so we can start working our dough. And if you need a recipe for this, I'll include it at the end of this video. But all you do is you take one full length of pizza dough and you just stretch it out here like this. If you flop it up and down as you pull, it makes one nice even stretch. Then I like to press down on it firmly, back and forth, and then I'll hit it with my roller, working it from side to side here. But the important thing here is really to keep it even. And once you've got it to the size you want, you can start with some cheese, and then lay your vegetable filling right over the top of that. Now notice I left some space around both ends. That's going to play a role in folding this up. But then lay down your Italian sausage and then hit it with some pepperoni. The last thing you want to do is lay down some more cheese. Then you want to start folding in both ends. Now just start working it like a burrito, folding it up and holding firmly until you get the entire side. And then you can work the opposite side, pulling it towards you. And that's where you make your seal. And then I just like to work it firmly, make it even, and then roll it back over here because this is the top. Now I'm going to set it on this well greased perforated pan. I got to wrap it like a horseshoe because it's huge. And I just cover it up with a little bit of egg wash which is just one beaten egg and some water. And we got to make some air vents here. One in the middle, one on each end, one in the middle of those and then one in between each of those. Then I sprinkle a little bit of kosher salt right over the top like a pretzel. Then we'll take it to the oven. And you're going to bake this for 15 minutes at 450 degrees. And when you're done, this is what it should look like. I like to brush olive oil over the top. And it also helps make the dried oregano stick better as I dash it over the top. Now you've got a completed two foot stramboli ready to be sliced up, dished out, and served. So let's take a look at that inside, shall we? And there you have it. Stromboli right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching, and be sure to stop by PoorMan'sGourmetKitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.